Where's my father? You forgot your duty. Where is he? His body is safe enough. Though I fear the poor man's mind can't take much more of my company. For some reason, he finds me disturbed. Let him go. Take me instead. But my dear, we must prove our love for our parents. Show me you value your father's life by doing what I ask. You're asking me to betray my friends. Sadly, your friends are destined to die. Their quest is impossible. The only question now, will you die with your friends or live with your father? I will find a way to defeat you. I will save my father and my friends. I was once proud too. I thought the gods could never defeat me. Then they hurled a mountain on top of me, crushed me into the ground where I struggled for eons, half conscious in pain. That taught me patience, girl. It taught me not to act rashly. Now I've clawed my way back with the help of the walking earth. I am only the first. My brethren will follow. We will not be denied our vengeance. Not this time. And you, Piper of McLean, need a lesson in humility. I'll show you how easily your rebellious spirit can be brought to earth. And that's when I woke up, free-falling through the air. It's not cool, man! Leo, Piper, hold on! It's about to get rough! <laughs> Ow, bro! I'm not a sofa! Where's Piper? Here. You okay? Oh, no, you're not okay. Thanks for the reassurance. You'll be fine. Leo, got any first aid supplies? Uh, yeah, sure. How did you- Magic. I haven't figured it out completely, but I can summon about any regular tool out of the pockets. Plus some- um, other stuff. Tic Tac? No thanks, Leo. Now can you fix your foot? I'm a mechanic man, not a doctor. I think I have some extra in my bag. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I think I should try and set your foot. Have you ever done that before? I think so. Here, hold the leg still. Oh, okay. Piper, this is going to hurt. Ow! Jeez, Beauty Queen, glad my face wasn't there. Sorry, and don't call me Beauty Queen or I'll punch you again. You both did great. Leo, what happened to Festus? I don't know, he just jerked sideways like he hit an invisible wall and then started to fall. Where are we? Hmm. Looks like a closed car plant. I'm guessing the crash landed in Detroit. Leo, are you sure the dragon didn't just malfunction? I mean, Festus is old. And I might not have repaired him, right? I didn't say that. It's just, maybe you could fix him? I don't know, I have to find where he landed! If he's even in one piece. It was my fault. Piper, you were asleep when Festus conked out. It couldn't be your fault. Yeah, you're just shaking up. You're in pain. Just rest. Look, Jason, why don't you stay with Piper? I'll scout around for Festus. If I find him, maybe I can figure out what happened and fix him. It's too dangerous to go alone. Ah, but I got duct tape and Tic Tacs. I'll be fine. See you guys. That photo in your pocket, is it someone from your past? 
Never mind, I shouldn't be asking. No, it's okay. Her name's Talia. She's my sister. I don't remember anything about her, and I'm not even sure how I recognize her. But why are you smiling? Uh, oh, it's nothing. I just, I'm happy that you remember something about your sister. I get the feeling I'm supposed to find her. Harry left me with that memory for a reason, but I also have the feeling it could be dangerous. I'm not sure I want to hear the truth. Speaking of the truth, I have to tell you something about, about my dad. Leo? I don't like this. He could be in trouble. I can't leave you alone. I'll be fine. If anyone comes close, I'll skewer them. Glad you're back to normal. The makeup and dress were a lot more intimidating than the dagger. Get going, Sparky, or I'll skewer you. Sparky? It's a new nickname. Now go! Jason? Don't worry, I'm here. And you're just in time for dinner.